giving the world. All people they have in Dominica, the Honorable Lennox Linton discovering it. Nusa Jeme Tape, on nom qui puis savoir que Lennox a donné. Ce qui va me you. Monsieur Yogan in Plaja, si Radio Paris par un son. Où ça t'a pris un premier nom pour courir à Fies Dominic, parce que Lennox Linton. You can get a better team than the United Workers Party. Never. Gentlemen, ladies, brothers and sisters, my friends and family from the college constituency, I have to tell you tonight that the United Workers Party must win the next election. We will win the next election. And we are bound to win the next general election. Because what we are doing here this evening, it's not about red, blue, green, yellow. It is about Dominica. It is about you. It is about our children and our children's children. So my people, the time will come when we must take the bull by the horn and demand transparency in government. Demand accountability. Because when we look at what is happening, never in the history has one party been in office having to campaign that hard. It is because their backs are against the wall. And their backs are against the wall because they are hiding something. They are hiding something. My brothers and sisters, we're talking about over $1.2 billion. Over $1.2 billion that is missing from the treasury. And while we are here in Dominica, silence, as I said to my people in Portsmouth, we can no longer remain silent because we have foreigners taking foreigners to court for the resources of the state. My brothers and sisters, we have to stand up. Stand up as a people and defend our democracy. You know what $1.2 billion could do for us in the constituency? Our agriculture right now is done. Our tourism product is done. Our culture is done. This is something that was we were rich in in the constituency. Our educational institutions are in deplorable conditions. Yes. I speak here yes, of the Dominica State College, the Goodwill Secondary School. Two years after Maria, the Goodwill Secondary School is still housed at the Dominica Grammar School. And the Dominica State College, nothing has been done after Maria. They are presently putting bulbs. There is inadequate space at the college for the volume of students who have to come in on Monday. They have no space. There is no internet. The toilets, the washrooms are not functioning. And we have $1.2 billion missing. Magwesa. It is the, at the heart of every democracy that you will find accountability. And you can't tell me we exist in a democracy and we're asking you questions and you're playing big boy because you think you want things. But we are the people who want things in Dominica. And we want to know, we just want to know. If you spend it, you can explain how you spend it. If you have it there, you can explain where you have it there. If it's on a book, we want to see the book. If you have it on an Excel file, go press equal sum 1 to 3,961 and press enter and you get the amount. Go and do it. That is what we need. You can't tell me you have all that money and three more children have to be going to school in September in a, in a fall house. In a co house these days, after 10 years, it's a good people school. But sir, Mr. is my parliamentary representative, and he's making me ashamed. He is making me ashamed. You can't tell me Penville people can't play football, can't play cricket on a good playing field, and you have all that money going, Margie. The young fellas, you call his name in parliament, say, Oh, he's well in agriculture, and he had to carry pail of water to use a plant. How are you telling me you are serious? You want to tell me that you have so much money it takes only to buy to buy ten thousand square feet. Government can acquire it. You can pay a person for it and run the pipe in seven. Run the pipe in seven for the farmers to be able to grow their crops. 
you telling the man about rain harvesting? Rain harvesting, when he put a 500 gallon drum, it doesn't rain for 10 days. Mosquitoes start breeding it. Where are you going to get, get water to water his plant? Because take the money and fix the system. We don't have a health center. The person, your health center, you rent in, you rent in the person's house, you can't even pay your rent, and you have all that money missing? Vilkas doesn't have a local economy. Vilkas doesn't have a local economy. You have, you have potential people, you have people with how much talent, and you can't empower them because you want to sit on the phone and let them drag and come and see you. Where's our cafe de Bamwe? Not on the B. Not on the Clemo. Not on the Clemo. You can't come and do that magic and play big man. We want to know where is the money. With patience, civility, and restraint guiding us. We are leading the way by inviting the civil society, the churches, the Dominica Freedom Party, and yes, my people, the Dominica Labour Party, to get the answers as to where the one point two billion dollar gone. Our help comes from there. There is someone in Dominica who says they run things, but we believe that the Lord runs things in Dominica. I want you to make a resounding sound in Lago tonight. Patriots! Indeed, our democracy still stands on the backs and shoulders of the, sup of the superheroes in front of me. All of you, all of you in front of me tonight are Dominica's superhero. You are here and you are standing in solidarity with every Dominican who cannot be here tonight. Asking where the money gone. Now Roosevelt Scary don't have a choice. He will answer the question of our 1.2 billion dollars. He may not answer it now, but the time is coming when this gentleman will account to the people of Dominica. We want our money. It belongs to us, patriots of Dominica. It is a blessed night. Good evening to you, and I bring you greetings from the constituency of St. Joseph. Mirror, I see you. St. Joe, I see you. Layu, I see you. Bells, I see you. Layu, Pak, Pak, I say, crack hole, and all of you in between. The time is coming when $1.2 billion is going to be injected into the economy of the St. Joseph constituency. We will restore pride and dignity back to our St. Joseph constituency. Dominicans, you know, and this is not for all of you who are standing here tonight, because you are the ones who continue to ask the question, where the money gone? It is for those who are not here tonight. Those who are too afraid to come out tonight. Those who are beyond those screens, those tablets, those telephones, and those televisions. We are asking this on your behalf. This is not about a red or blue Dominica. When your children go to do groceries for you, when you give them their money to go to Rosa and make message for you, you asking, where is my change? How can Roosevelt Scarlet use our monies and not want to account for it? Madness, I say. Madness. It is not good governance practice for any politician to think that they own this country. Roosevelt Skerritt has not only stolen our money, he is trying to steal our democracy. Rise up, Dominicans, and stop this man in his tracks. This man, stop him. He don't even know what he has become. I feel sorry for Roosevelt Skerritt. I looked at this man in St. Joseph, a caged man, stuck between a rock and a hard place to do anything to stay in power. But Roosevelt scary, the time is now. The anointing has left you. Ladies and gentlemen, the anointing has left Roosevelt Skerritt. Did you hear at the red rededication of Dominica what this pastor said to Lennox Linton? He said, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him, I say. Dominica is going to a new place. The waters are troubled, but healing is coming to this land. United Workers Party candidates, Dominicans and Patriots.
patriot keep your head above the water you have a responsibility to save this country every single one of us our children will remember what we did not do if we allow this man to stay in office for another five years Roosevelt Skerritt, Addis King, Caressa, Melissa, none of them cares about Dominica. All they care about is winning an election. Millions of dollars are spent to launch Dominica Labour Party candidate while our brothers and sisters are stuck on four dollars and five cents. This must stop and the time is coming. By the hook or by the crook, he is going. By the hook or by the crook, he will answer. $1.2 billion belongs to the people of Dominica. This country is broken because of Roosevelt Skerritt. Another five years for what? Five more years of Skerritt, we finish. What Dorian did to Bahamas is equivalent to what Roosevelt Skerritt has done to Dominica. This man has destroyed the fabric of our country. Our moral, our social and our economic fabric has deteriorated under a Roosevelt Skerritt government. It is time for you to go, brother. Pack up and leave. We want our money. We're telling him we want our money tonight. I want that money for my children. You will account for it. And the United Workers Party will ensure that when we get into office, that we will use the money to develop the lies in this country. Dominica needs to be taken to a new era. Labor rights, this is for you. Open your eyes. How can you allow your leader, your PM that you love so much, to destroy himself and this country? But Melissa not seeing her husband needs to stop. She joined him instead of helping him. Madness, I say. Stop the madness. Our children will not forgive us if we fail to put democracy as the forefront in Dominica. So ladies and gentlemen, while I stand here, I'm almost getting emotional. And the reason for that is that nowadays we see our people unable to speak out. We see church leaders unable to say anything. We see our leaders among ourselves are shut down. Because Dominica is heading in the wrong direction. And for governance of this country, we need to pull up the socks. And we need to do it now. So ladies and gentlemen, while I stand here, I want to say to you, be courageous. Be courageous. Be able to stand up and stand up for equal rights and justice. It is the norm that elected members instruct parliament as to how public funds are being used. And then parliament has to execute on behalf of the people. But it is also the responsibility of elected members to look at how monies are spent and to question and to hold the government responsible for actions taken. That is when you have to give an account of money. And so we say, when monies are budgeted to be spent on projects in this country, you must spend this money with accountability and you must bring value home. Value for money is very important as well. It's not just about spending money, but it's bringing value home. As to when we talk about transparency, you have to be transparent. It is very important that in any project undertaken, that from time to time you report, you evaluate, you assess, and you look where you are going, and if things are going wrong, then you stop it. It cannot be. It cannot be in a country that projects are going on all over and you cannot report to the people. Government, you are responsible, you are answerable to the people and when the people ask questions, you must answer. Roosevelt Skerritt, 
This is my last time on the platform asking you to tell us about the money. You'll be yelling about Hector John. You will not be seeing me. I will not be speaking anymore. And I want to tell you something before I leave. Don't think you're calling elections without electoral reform. You will have civil unrest on your hands. Good night and God bless. Because under the laws of Dominica, the Prime Minister supposed to account for that money. The Prime Minister is our Minister of Finance. And as such, he's supposed to answer the question as to where is that $1.2 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, the law does provide for the Prime Minister to set up special accounts. But he cannot do so without passing regulations. The law does allow him to pass regulations on and off and on to set up special accounts. But today, the Prime Minister has not been able to say you, the people of Dominica, as to which regulation he has passed to allow him to set up a special account which appears to be managed by MNCE and God knows we don't know who else. And that is why we have been asking the question to the tired and outgoing Prime Minister. Sir, tell us where are the accounts as relates to MMCE? How many accounts? Who are the signatories? Who are the people responsible to manage that account? We have been asking the question and we have not received a proper answer. Instead, we have been hearing a Prime Minister who is attempting to throw dust in our eyes. Who is attempting to lead us onto the path of destruction and darkness. But tonight I want to say to the Prime Minister that like other patriots in the Commonwealth of Dominica, I am a living sacrifice to make sure that Dominica is delivered from the chain of financial bondage, spiritual bondage, which has been resulted from men who parade as men of God when in fact they do the work of the devil. God does not steal. God does not like ugly. The law says when you take something which belongs to another person with the intention to permanently deprive him, then you would have committed theft. The money, the $1.2 billion which we have questioned belongs to you, my brothers and sisters. It belongs to me. It belongs to all of us. Which means that the Prime Minister is supposed to account for that money. But this is just one of several sets of monies which has been unaccounted for under the Dominican Labour Party administration. Years ago, you heard of the bean bubble, fertilizer bubble. You heard about 100 million US dollars loaned from Venezuela. You heard about 10 million US dollars given to the Kalinago people. Some ex examples of monies which this Prime Minister and his government have not been able to provide proper accounting for. So brothers and sisters, this is serious business. And I'm happy to see so many of you come out to support the Honorable Lennox Linton and the United Workers Party and all other patriots, including the Dominica Freedom Party and civil society in standing for a better Dominica. This is a movement and we shall not stop until we get to the finish line. So for those snakes who have climbed up into the Ministry of Finance, let us say to you that we are coming. We are coming. So all the snakes that are laying in the balises in Dominica, tell them we are coming. We are coming. We are going to cut the grass very low and all the snakes will be exposed. Some will run, want to run, but they shall find nowhere to hide. Because brothers and sisters, enough is enough.